Hi again, strangers. Hope you're all good. As you can see, I've got my boy Nendoroid doll here, and he's kind of, well, bald. So, I'm going to give him some fuzz on that scalp of his. This actually isn't the first time I've attempted making a Nendoroid wig. Emphasis on attempt. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 But trial and error, as they say. So fingers crossed and let's get to it. After folding the plastic foil, I'm spreading it nice and tight on his noggin, and I lock it in place with some mini elastic bands. The plastic is going to be a protective shield from the glue so the head isn't damaged, but I'd recommend you don't use a head that you really love, just in case. If you don't have a spare head that you can use, then I'd maybe say, just put an extra two more layers, just to be sure. I struggled for what felt like eons with that piece of fabric. I managed to cut it just the wrong shape, but we got there in the end. Sheesh. Two of the biggest mistakes I made previously was to draw with a dark pen, then using light fibers and not having a natural hairline. So this time, I'm drawing with a lighter color and being generous on the front and back to cover more area. Time for the icing. I've ended up doing four to five layers of glue before it's thick and sturdy enough, but it'll harden more over time anyway. I made these wefts a while ago, but I decided to actually cut the hair off because I realized that the dry glue was going to be way too chunky on such a small scale. So I'm just adding the first layer all around the edge, let that dry a bit, and then I continue adding one layer after the other all the way up to the parting that I've drawn. Finally at the parting, I'm going to do something a little tricky, so hear me out and hopefully I don't lose you.
first I cut open the parting as long as I wanted to go. Taking one hair weft at a time, I push into the hole and position them how I want inside. Preferably one facing in each direction, like north, south, west, east. Then flip the wig over to look on the inside of the wig cap. I glue down the hair that I've just pushed through. This is a bit tight and the hair I have to glue isn't very long, so to keep it lying flat I actually add some cling wrap and smush it down with something moldable like clay or soft rubber of some kind. So let's give him a trim. First, I'm gonna turn him into a troll to get access to the first layers. Now, I'm gonna put my wig styling experience after years of cosplaying into play here. Other than the scale, they're not really that different. I'll be styling and cutting the back first, so in case I mess up, or I might not be in the zone or whatever, at least it won't be at the front. I've actually seen many doll customizers simply cut the length of the wefts once they've dried before adding the next layer. That works too, but I'd rather work at it from the bottom up once the noggin's covered, so that I can see the full picture. I don't know how clear you're able to see it, but I'm cutting with the scissors like a razor, slowly opening and closing them as I do an up and down motion. This tends to give it a way more natural look, other than just a straight chop. And then I'm just repeating that all the way up. However, I'm going to leave the top ones that are inside the parting alone, because they'll be last. Next I work my way to the sides, and then finally over to the front. Now that it's all cut, it's time for those last hairs at the top. Some styling. Whew! We got there in the end. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've got any questions, don't be afraid to ask. And take care.